Hey, Madison City Schools teachers and students. Uh, it's Daniel Witt here. I wanted to quickly show you a new product that we've got. Uh, it's a supplemental, supplemental product to the Turnitin uh, product, and it's an add-on for Google Docs. So let's say you've typed up your entire research paper or whatever you're working on, and you did it in Google Docs like I've done here, um, and then you wanted to kind of do a plagiarism check for yourself to make sure that you are creating an original piece. So I'm gonna click on add-ons at the top, and then I'm gonna go down to turn it in draft coach, and I'm gonna click on that. When this guy pops up, it should pop up on the right side, and it's gonna ask me, uh, do I wanna get feedback now? Yes, click that. And then it's gonna ask me to accept their terms. Go ahead and do that, check the box, and continue to draft coach, and then, we're gonna look, we've got three different options here. Uh, Turnitin Draft Coach gives you tools to help you in your writing process. Here's where to get started. You can do a similarity check. You can check your paper for plagiarism. You can do a citations check, which tracks your sources and citations. And then you can do a grammar guide. It's just an additional layer of grammar protection for you. So let's go ahead and just go to the first one only. So I'm gonna to go to similarity here and I'm gonna run a similarity check. And it says this will be the first of three similarity checks you can run on this paper before you submit it. So you've got three of these. So I'm gonna click confirm. Be careful with these because you have a limited number per doc. It says do not alter your text while it runs. If this takes a while, I will fast forward in the video. If it doesn't, then uh, well, you should see it pretty soon here. Okay, it says 100%. What this means is it is 100% plagiarized. You guessed it, I copy and pasted this from an existing research paper. It even tells me where it came from. So that gives me, if I click the little question mark here, it can take you and you can see interpreting your results. So obviously the lower the number, the better. You want a low, low number, uh, preferably zero. But uh, that's how you run a similarity check. And then if you wanna look at citations and grammar, you would do it right here, uh, right beside similarity. So I uh, hope that gets everybody started with the new draft coach from Turnitin. Have a good one.